everybody, my name is Nikki McNeil and I'm your 2020 Regional and Coastal Youth of the Year Award winner. It hurts me to say that we cannot see each other at this year's gala, however I'm happy that everybody can join and watch safely from their homes. I hope you enjoy this next clip of my winning speech at this year's competition from Coastals in March. I hope to see everybody next year and hope everybody stays safe and as well. Thank you. Growing up, I moved over five times and had to change schools all throughout elementary school. I attended schools that made me feel out of place and as if I didn't fit in with everybody else. My appearance was different than the other kids. I had different body shape, different hairstyle, and most importantly, a darker skin color. Um, kids often made fun of me and it made me feel insecure about my overall body image, especially because I didn't look like them. I remember one day coming home crying because a girl came up to me and said, where did you get your clothes, Old Navy? So I they're so old and raggedy. I went home crying, thinking that I didn't belong or fit in at that school. Growing up, bullying has been a constant battle that I'm still trying to overcome today. At first, I thought I was going to suffer the same problems I had going into middle school. However, attending the Boys and Girls Club helped me realize that if I truly opened up and showed the real me, I would be accepted. I learned different ways throughout middle school to deal with bullying. One, I learned to believe in myself and build confidence through different programs and activities that the club provided. One program I enrolled in was the youth basketball program, which was hosted by the club, that helped me be more active. I had the ability to finally make new friends after moving from a terrible area and just play sports with a really great program that changed my life and my outlook on my future. I also joined Smart Girls with Living in Cheatwood, where I can express my problems with everybody else and finally open up to show who I really am and make even more friends. And that just really gave me the opportunity to express who I really was. Throughout middle school and high school and volunteering and finally becoming a staff at the Boys and Girls Club, it finally became a safer place for me to go to where I can express myself in a great environment with wonderful staff and with so many opportunities that I can, I can just have, it finally became another home to me. A month ago, I was able to help a young girl who was also being bullied by a boy who kept on commenting rude things to her. After I saw this, I knew it was my job to go and reinforce the girl of her self-worth and remind her that in this situation, she is valued and greatly respected because I went through that same situation. This made me realize that I can be the leading role model to the youth here at the club. So, going throughout the club, I can finally see that these kids also need the same opportunity that the club had provided me. And that's why I'm now in a position to overcome bullying, sorry, and be the volunteer and the leading role model and positive influence in these kids' lives. Thank you. My name is Liam Hall, and I am the 13 and under Youth of the Year. I first got involved with the club when my mom signed me up the summer before my 6th grade year at the Anderson Club, where I met Miss Georgie and made many friends. I transferred to the Johnston Club when I started 6th grade at Kalina, where I met Miss Ann. Because of my life situation at the time, the club acted as a place where I could feel secure and develop qualities that I otherwise wouldn't have. I had a challenging relationship with my father where I didn't always feel safe, but I always knew that I was safe at the Boys and Girls Club. The club is a place where anyone can get away from their problems, at home or school, like how it was for me, while learning a multitude of things and making new friends. As I said in my essay, in times where I wasn't sure what would happen to my life, or felt threatened by the possibility of my father coming to my house or school, I knew that I had a safe place to go while my mom was working. During the pandemic, in, time, in times of uncertainty, students must feel the same way. With friendly staff and an abundance of activity, they are able to stay safe and social. I'd like to thank the Boys and Girls Club of Conejo Valley for this opportunity to share my experience. I would also like to thank my mom for always working hard for me and my family. Her hard work and perseverance has taught me that no one succeeds without effort. In this time, we must all work together to persevere 
and overcome the challenges put before us. Thank you again. I hope to see you all soon.